the number I want to talk to you about, Michonne, is the <laughs> panic meter for the Lakers. If you were with us when we started the show, you were disappointed with the loss, but you said, hey, it's a seven-game series. So my assumption is you're not too worried and you're not going to hit the DEFCON 5 number 10 button. No, no. I would say it's a, it's a four. Okay. Now, that thing can climb. Yeah. But right now, it's a four because you go back and you look at things from your game plan and you say, how do we get the most out of our players? And you get AD on the blocks. You saw it in game one. He was at the free throw line a lot. You, you allow LeBron to be LeBron, but you also expect these other guys to learn how to play defense to stop what's going on on Portland's offensive side of the, of the floor. That's how I'm your, I'm your conscience. What was so, that? What was that? I mean, I'm your conscience. I don't know. It was, uh, it was loud in my ear. I, 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 I'm going to be your conscience today, Keyshawn. I'm going to tell the people what you really think. I'm not going to tell them this coaches speak that you're up here at the podium doing the post-game presser, talking about we need to control the paint, we need to stop them on fast breaks. I'm really worried. I'm really at a 10 today. You know, I was biting my nails last night. LeBron had to do so much on the court. Anthony Davis was floating around the perimeter. I just would have taken Carmelo Anthony all the time. I would have put my big butt on him, just drive to the rim and dunk on him. I don't feel comfortable. I think I'm a DEFCON 5. I'm I'm feeling you more like a 10 today. You don't think they could get back in the game plan and realize that they didn't do that last night and now make that adjustment for game two? You can't ask me a question because I'm actually your conscience. I'm not Jay <laughs> Williams. I'm talking as your conscience. Okay, Z, can they make the adjustment in game two and look at it and say we missed opportunities by allowing, you know, AD to not take advantage of a smaller guy on him? Because essentially he's a four, a five that doesn't want to play five, so he becomes our four. I'm just thinking about the guy that turned on his smart speaker or got in the car this morning and just started listening as soon as Jay started talking in that voice and wondering, what the hell is going on right now? I'm just trying to tell you, I know what Keyshawn Johnson thinks. He can sit up here on national radio and tell you all the coaches talk. He is worried. He is worried and he should be worried. You know why? I, I, I will be worried if we drop game two. I will be worried then. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Were you, were you not worried about the fact that you guys lack three-point shooting, but yet your two I best was, I was afraid. Your yes. two best three-point shooters can't even play in the game. J.R. Smith had a DMP, well, did not play. That's Deion Waiters of, played one minute because they're defensive def liabilities. Def defensive liabilities, so you can't play. Does that not worry you? Does it not worry you that Alex Caruso is your best perimeter defender, is a guy that would have been coming off the bench, giving you boost minutes here I'm and there, willing, but he's I'm, no Avery Bradley. I'm willing to wait to see if Kyle Kuz can knock down the three and not hit the side of the damn backboard. What's that old line? If you keep showing me who you are, at some point I have but, to believe you. But I'm you. willing. In the whole I'm year, willing, Keyshawn, they haven't knocked I, down I shots. I understand that, but I'm willing to see what he can do with the second unit. I'm willing to continue to mess around with Caruso. And then Avery Brad, not Avery Bradley, uh, Green, on the other hand, he needs to just start knocking them down. He had a few open looks that he knocked down, but then he had some open looks that he missed. They had a lot of open looks last night. And all I'm saying is this team tried to increase the tempo of the game. They should have slowed it down. They should have slowed, yeah, slowed it down. And that's why I think that plays into how Portland wants the game to be chaotic. Yep. They want the pace and to be all thing, over the and place. And another thing for me, and you tell me, uh, Jay, if I'm right in what I'm looking at, is they got to fight through – the high screen when Dame Lillard is Nurkic. going around Nurkic at the top of the key and he's going around him like Reggie Miller used to do. He's, they got to fight. Through. Do they fight through it, go over the top, go underneath it, or just run right through the dude? You can't go underneath because Dame can pull up from the logo. If you go over the top, he can shift gears and change pace and bump his shoulder into you and then drive. And here's the challenge. You have to blitz him. What blitz means in basketball, you have to double team him. But your bigs, A.D., Dwight Howard, JaVel McGee, have to have quick enough feet to contain him to bring him back to the guard that's coming over the top. But, but well, we know A.D. does have quick feet, right? He's but, the only one. But we already know if you're at the top, there's, there's not going to be a roll because he's at the top. So Nurkic is not going to roll. They're not going to run a pick and roll on you with him way at the top of the key. Yeah, no, actually, Nurkic can roll, and that's when the guy from the weak side has to help. But it takes forever for him to get to the bucket on the roll because I, he's slow. But I'm saying that you still give up a wide open two if nobody from the weak side helps over. But then you leave a three-point shooter but in it's the corner. A, but it's a long two, right? Oh, no, it's a long two. If he pops, if he rolls, Nurkic, Nurkic is nice, man. I'm not saying he's not nice. I'm just saying 
I would think AD or Dwight or any of those other bigs that we have can, or whoever can, well, you don't want a small switch with him, but the bigs can get back. So I was going to bring it back to Avery Bradley. So you made a comment at the beginning of the show where it's like, well, you can't really guard him the full length of the court. That would have been Avery Bradley's job. As soon as I catch the ball, if I'm in, inbounding the ball as Dame Lillard, if I turn around on the baseline looking towards the full court, Avery Bradley would have been there. He would have made me work all the way Even up the court. Even if he's pushing. Yeah. He's going to make me work. I'm always going to wonder where Avery Bradley is. And Alex Caruso doesn't have that kind of durability, nor does he have that kind of conditioning to guard Dame Lillard. That's what I would have did to him at Duke. Wouldn't have been a Wooden Award. Not if you were a Pepperdine. I would have given you buckets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.